Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Overcomers. I am Evora Bentley. I am a faith coach, empowering others by instilling vision so that they may see the power in their mission. Yes, your mission, your purpose, why you were created. Um, I was just sitting here, and this message today is really um, for women, for women um, who have actually struggled with identity issues because of the battle with perversion, um, specifically for women who have dealt with some type of abuse, especially women who were molested or raped at a younger age or any time in their life, and you still have, you know, that battle with perversion. Well, one thing, um, the trick and the enemy of what perversion will do, the very thing um, that came your way to be an attack on your identity. First of all, let me make this clear. Um, men have a free will. It was never for God's idea or in God's plan um, for that to happen to you. However, he will take that story and create something beautiful for his glory. Those ashes, he will um, surely turn into beauty. And this is just what I want to encourage you to let you know. And I'm also speaking from personal experience um, from someone who was sexually violated at the age of six. Um, if you don't know your enemy, your enemy will always be able to defeat you. And if you don't know um, how your enemy operates, then you know, you'll struggle to overcome it. And so the thing about it is the very thing that, you know, was used to attack your identity um, now that causes you to battle with insecurity, shame, and guilt, it's the same thing that you will turn around and use to fill a temporary void. I know I was there before, um, you know, when something happens. So, okay, let me have sex because that feels a temporary void. And mind you, again, it's a temporary void. It's just temporarily. Um, the only <laughs> way your voice can be healed and filled permanently is by our Heavenly Father, by the one who created you. And I just want to encourage you that, you know, there are tools out there, whether if you need to go to counseling, whatever you need to receive healing. If this enemy is causing you still to this day to when your emotions flare up, when something happened and, and, you know, for sex to be that thing, to be that tool to fill your void, it's because you still need some healing. It is because it is still overcoming you. So I just want you to be encouraged. Um, if you're watching this video, this is not condemnation, you know, um, repent. Repenting means change your mind, and that's what I had to do. I changed my mind. Now it's like, when I even think about if I were to lay down and have sex with um, a man, you know, I'm like I'm cheating on my husband because I vowed and I said, you know, my body is going to only be for my husband. It has definitely been a process, a journey. I'm not saying that it was something that happened overnight, but I just want to encourage you that you can overcome it and know your enemy. Um, you were not created for your body just to be given to anyone. Um, that is the truth. And you were not created for sex to fill a void. It's sex is something beautiful that God created for marriage. And um, I just encourage you, know that you're beautiful. Um, I know that it has had several other attacks as far as your self-image and who you are, but know that you are beautiful, you are unique, you are fearfully, wonderfully made, and the Father is just waiting on you without any judgment or condemnation to fill that temporary void. I hope you all have a blessed day on purpose.